Robert, I was just going over your notes and I... Oh, excuse me. No, 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 Kate, Kate, uh, this is my personal secretary, Kate Summers. Kate, this is my... my... Son. Son. His name is... is... Ricky. Ricky. I, I didn't know you had a son. Join the club. <laughs> Kate, what can I do for you? Oh, well, I, I got your note, and I want to make sure that I understand it correctly. You want to make a donation to Toys for Tots? Yes, it's a very worthy charity. Well, yes, but the note says that you want to donate a, a Ferrari? <laughs> oh, well, it's a small car. <laughs> told me about your cash flow problem. Why don't I just hold off on this donation? Okay. okay. Kate? Yes? Listen, thanks for sticking by me through this. I'm, I'm sure the problem is only temporary, but it's nice to know you're not. Well, you know, you can always count on me. Uh, very nice meeting you, Ricky. My pleasure. Uh, say, have you had lunch? No. I tell you what, I'll make you a sandwich and I'll leave it in the kitchen, okay? All right. All right. Where's the kitchen? Oh. Well, if you take the train through the next two rooms, you'll find yourself at Ghost Town. <laughs> Bear right at the abandoned mine shaft, get off the old mail hook, and from there just follow the Burma Shave signs. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. See you later. The old mail hook? Yeah, well, nobody really uses it anymore. <laughs> Colonel, why don't you check the engine there for aero damage? Yes, sir. Kate? Kate, uh... Listen, I, I know how expensive these cruises can be. I mean, the first port you come to, you buy a dozen carved coconut heads, you're tapped out. <laughs> anyway, uh... Here. This is a thousand dollars. Edward, you're too generous. Well, no, only with people I really like. Thank you. Kate, I, I want you to have a real good time. Hey, who knows? Maybe you'll meet a nice guy. Yeah. My! What a lovely restaurant. Thank you, madam. Careful. Don't trip over the train tracks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Waiter will be with you in a moment. We shot. <laughs> Listen, waiter, could you get the maitre d'? I'd like a different table. Dad. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Okay, waiter. <clears throat> what do you recommend? For Chateau Billon, for two is magnifique. <laughs> well, I prefer seafood. Dad. <laughs> You know, Kate, I have a sudden yen for Chateaubriand. Me too. Very good choice. <laughs> for you, Mamsel. <laughs> you, Monsieur. I will be right back with your salads. <laughs> To the most beautiful woman in the world, love Edward. <laughs> to the most handsome man in the world, love Kate. <laughs> Kate, do you get the feeling that Ricky's trying to get us together? <laughs> Kate, you know one of the things I like about you? You see the way I live and you see the things I do. But you never put me down for them. Oh, well, there are a lot of people who live strictly by the book, but you have the courage to do things your own way, and I admire that. Well, there's, there's lots of things I admire about you. Oh. You're intelligent. 
Kind, caring, thoughtful. Too bad there's nobody like you available. What do you mean? Well, Kate, when you came to work for me, you told me how your last employer made a pass at you, and you made it very clear that you never wanted that to happen again. You're right. I did say those things. Oh, well, then I, then I respect your feelings, Kate. And I agree with you. It, it would be unwise for us to let romance intrude on our professional relationship. Ah, oh, absolutely. It would be an unnecessary complication in our lives. Well, then we're agreed. We absolutely, positively cannot get involved. Yeah. We can't. We won't. <laughs> it would be unprofessional. And untenable. And unworkable. And unacceptable. And unthinkable. And... 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 Oh, man, my arm's asleep. I know what. I'll get some circulation going and massage your neck. Chicks love that. <laughs> oh, I hate that. This is what I get for going out on a grudge date. I know what I want to do. I want to commit to Kate. I want to be with her and only her. And I want her only to be with me. I got to tell her that right now. I can't tell her now. We're in Carnegie Hall, for God's sake. <laughs> if I don't tell her now, I'll never tell her. OK, so I'll never tell her. <laughs> Kate, I need to be committed. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I, I'm sorry for the interruption, but I got something on my mind, and I'm going to say it. Well, hurry it up, would you? <laughs> All right, I will, Mr. Leibowitz. <laughs> this is a pretty terrific lady here, and I want to be with her, and only her. Edward, I, I don't think... Uh, you do? <laughs> Yes, I do, Kate. And I don't care if the whole world hears about it. I don't think I was ever really alive until I met you. And you know something? I would have never known it either if my son hadn't tricked me into coming here tonight. Come on down here, Rick. <laughs> Kate, I've been a fool. I want to go with this relationship, wherever it leads. Oh, Edward, I, I do too. <sighs> Sit down, Kate. I've got some bad news, but I'm counting on you to be strong. Can you be strong, Kate? Oh. <clears throat> I'll try. Good, 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 good. <laughs> well, I, I guess I better just come right out with it. My dad used to be in love with another woman. Here's a picture of him kissing her. All I see is the back of a guy's head. It could be anybody. <laughs> Here, let me show you. Ricky, I already know about your father and Leslie's mother. You do? Uh -huh. How come you're so calm? I know. You've hired a hitman, right? <laughs> of course not. Well, I'm calm because I know that Edward loves me now. Don't be cocky, Kate. <laughs> Leslie told me that her mother's out to get my dad, and I'm real worried. 
Those cram bottom women are capable of anything. <laughs> well, I'm not worried. Honest. She's a flash from my dad's past. Well, I'm a flash from his present. Ricky, I, I'm secure with my relationship with your father. I'd never do anything to hurt it. And I know in my heart he'd never do anything either. is resisting the temptation to fool around with someone else. Well, I think part of being in love is to forgive a person when he or she messes up. There's no point in rehashing all this. Let's just say goodbye, all right? It's over? Just like that? Just like that. It's finished? We're history. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Hey, goodbye. Good hope that you guys can patch things up. But I just can't believe that either of you wants it to end like this. The least you guys could do is give each other a nice goodbye kiss. Come on. One last sayonara. Arrivederci. Adios, amigos. Kiss. <laughs> Remember, this is your final pucker. What do you know? It worked. Ms. Kate, I have something very important to say. As you know, I'm basically a plain and simple man. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this as plainly and as simply as I can.
Will you marry me? Oh, Edward. <laughs> Is that a yes? Dearly beloved, we are gathered here together in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. Will you, Edward, take this woman whom you now hold by your right hand as your lawful and wedded wife? Will you love, honor, cherish, keep her in health, forsaking all others, and keep yourself to her only so long as you shall both live. I will. And will you, Kate, take this man whom you now hold by your right hand as your lawful and wedded husband? Will you love, honor, and keep yourself to him only so long as you shall both live? I will. I place the ring on her finger. Repeat after me, with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. Then do I, in the presence of these witnesses and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you.